Hey guys, today in this video we're going to show you how to set up an automatic water change function for your Profilux 4 controller using the GHL Connect app. For this setup, you will need one pump for draining water from the tank, one pump for filling the tank, two available outlets on your power bar for these pumps, any combination of two sensors, either float or optical, and lastly, a match of setting brackets and assembly rod for positioning the two water change sensors in your sump. If you wish to connect these two sensors to a single level port on your P4, you'll also need a PLLY splitter cable. To get started, connect the GHL float or optical sensor to an available level port on your P4. Be sure to take note what color ports on the P4 you are connecting the sensors to. If one or both sensors are connected to the purple port, it is connected to level 1 and 2. If one or both are connected to the green port, it is connected to level 3 and 4. If you are connecting these sensors to an expansion card, the level port numbering will continue beyond level 3 and 4. For example, if you have a PLM 4 level expansion card installed on your P4, the level numbering would be 5 and 6 for one port and 7 and 8 for the second port. Since there are two sensors involved in this setup, you can either connect each sensor to its own port directly on the P4, or you can use a PLLY splitter cable and connect both sensors to a single level port on your P4. If you choose to connect each sensor to a separate level port, the numbering for each sensor will be automatically assigned to the first level sensor number. In other words, if you connect one sensor to the level port 1 and 2, it'll automatically be assigned as sensor number 1. Connecting a single sensor to level port 3 and 4 will automatically assign it as sensor number 3. If you choose to use a splitter cable, the level sensor numbering will automatically be assigned to the first and second number of that port. For example, connecting two sensors to the level 1 and 2 port would make one end of the splitter cable level sensor number 1 and the other end level sensor number 2. Now that you have both sensors connected, open up the GHL Connect app and connect to your Profilux. From the dashboard, press the menu icon. Select Control, then select Level. Choose an unused control circuit. Press Operation Mode and select the desired water change function. Select Water Change if you would like to use the standard water change function. With this option, sensor number 1 is the maximum fill point and sensor number 2 is the drain point. When a water change begins, the assigned drain pump will begin removing water from the system until it reaches sensor number 2. At that moment, the drain pump will turn off and the fill pump will turn on. This fill pump will then stay on until the water level reaches sensor number 1 at the maximum fill point. The second water change option is the ATO and water change function. Select this function if you would like to assign both ATO and water change tasks to sensor number one, which is the maximum fill point. Once that's done, type in a description for this task. The next step will be to set the desired maximum on time. This max on time feature is the fail safe for this function. If for any reason the assigned sensors do not respond within the allowed time, the failsafe will automatically shut down the function to prevent either an overflow or too much water being taken out. For example, by setting this feature to 5 minutes, you allow the water change task to run for up to 5 minutes. If this time limit expires, the Profilux will trigger the failsafe and activate an alarm. When an alarm is activated, the GHL logo LED indicator lights will begin flashing red. For this feature, we recommend you enter a time that gives the assigned pumps enough time to complete the water change task. Once the max on time is set, choose if you'd like to have the alarm automatically reset after the failsafe has been triggered. With this option selected, the alarm will automatically be reset once the water change sensors detect normal water level. For those who selected the ATO and water change function, take a look at the ATO section and select if you'd like to have the ATO function always on. If you would prefer to run the ATO on certain days or times, disable this option and select the timer number that will be responsible for managing the on-off times of this function. 
The next step will be to select the timer number that will be responsible for activating the water change task. To do that, select the timer function that is not being used by any other device or task. Next, select the sensor numbers that will be used for this task. For example, if you have both sensors connected to the level 1 and 2 port with a splitter cable, select 1 and 2. If connected to the level 3 and 4 port, select 3 and 4. If you connected each sensor to its own separate level port, select the first sensor number that belongs to the respective port. For example, a single sensor connected to level 1 and 2 is assigned as sensor number 1. A single sensor connected to level 3 and 4 is sensor number 3. Once that's done, press save, then press the back arrow. Select the sensors tab to view sensor specific settings. Here is where you can set the reaction times of each sensor. By default, all sensors are set with a 1 second delay. If you wish to change that, simply go to your sensor number and enter a new delay time. In this same page, you can also identify which water change sensor is the upper sensor and which is the lower. If you toggle those sensors, you will see an X mark disappear and reappear. Once that's done, the next step will be to go to the timer function you assign to the water change task. Press the menu icon, press the back arrow, and select Processes. Select the timer number you used when you set up the water change function. If you assign timer 1 to this task, you would go to the timer 1 settings page. If you chose timer 2 for this task, you'd go to the timer 2 settings page. From here, select the switch mode tab and set the switch mode to event start. Add a description for this task. We're going to call it water change. Press Save, then press the Schedule tab. On this page, you can now specify at what time you would like the water change task to begin. Press Add, then specify the water change start time. When you're done, press Add. Your start time will now be added to the list. If you'd like to do multiple water changes throughout the day, just press the Add button again and set the starting time. Next. Select the days you'd like to run this water change task. If you'd like to run it every day, either select all the boxes here or select the Day Intervals tab and set the Repeat field to 1. If you'd like to do a water change every 2 or 3 days, enter 2 for every 2 days or 3 for every 3 days. Once that's done, press Save. The final step will be to assign the dedicated water change pumps to the physical outlets on your power bar. Press the back arrow, followed by the menu icon. Select Switch Channels. Select the outlet where you will have the drain pump connected. Type in the description for this outlet. Set the function to Drain Water. The number here corresponds to the control circuit number you used when you created the water change function. For example, since we use control circuit number 1, we would select number 1 here. If we had used control circuit number 2, we would select 2. Once that's done, press save, then press the back arrow. The drain pump has now been assigned. The next step will be to select the outlet that will have the fill pump connected. Type in a description, set the function to fill water AWC only, and select the same control circuit number you used when you created the water change function. When you're done, press save. The water change fill pump has now been assigned. Now for those who had selected the ATO and water change operation mode earlier on in the setup process, there's one more step to complete. Select the outlet where your ATO pump will be connected. Add a description. Then set the function to fill water ATO only. Be sure to select the exact control circuit number you used for the water change function. Once that's done, press save and your automatic water change setup will be complete. You can now go ahead and plug in your dedicated drain and fill pumps to the outlets on your power bar. 
Thanks guys for watching this video. Until next time folks, take care.